Hello and today we will introduce you to what is called a basic stamp. So this is actually basic stamp comes in different flavor. This is called basic stamp one. So as you see basic stamp actually one BS1 has uh, 14 pins. Okay, so starting from here one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 14. And then we have basic stamp two. This is more advanced and more sophisticated in, in uh, term of uh, numbers of uh, general purpose I uh, input output or GPIO and uh, different capabilities okay we will explain uh, about that later today I will demonstrate to you how to use basic stamp one BS1 and this is really very nice uh, as getting started for for hobbyists for engineers who never uh, experimented or never experienced with microcontroller the basic stamp one or BS1 is actually a small uh, shape or small factor uh, computer board. So this is a little computer board. You can use it actually to automate things uh, and do amazing things with it. Although B BS or Basic Stamp 2 is much more advanced. Uh, my projects actually are way more advanced than those things. Uh, so, so I'm using much more advanced and sophisticated uh, boards uh, I'm designing uh, on my own okay so let me briefly introduce you here here is the basic stamp one so it has like those kind of 14 pins and voltage input uh, the source uh, the uh, uh, pc or like a computer output computer input so this is uh, the computer output and computer input pins three and four are dedicated for the uart communication the uart communication means you uh, uh, uh universal asynchronous receiver transmitter so uart is a serial communication port you can use the the what's called the usb or the virtual uh, communication port or vcom uh in your your usb to uh, to program the basic stamp this basic stamp uh, you can use uh this is the board actually this is the uh, uart board okay so you, the uart board looking at those pins at the bottom one two like all the pins here those at the bottom this is the pin diagram so the first one is the dtr what we are interested in receive receive and uh, rx for receive and tx for uh, transmit so transmit output and receive is input so as you see here the basic stamp actually uh, it has the uh, computer output Computer output goes to the input, which is receive, and then computer input, pin 4, the input goes to the output from here. Output means transmit, so output to input and input to output. Okay, so output to input, as you see, this is the UART. Output goes to input here, and input here goes to output here. They, they are crossed. Crossed means uh, they talk to one another. This one, when it talks, this listens when this listens when this talks this listen so it's like bi-directional communication okay so we use we use the uart board uh is separate from basic stamp we use the uart board to to program the the small computer board which is called basic stamp whether bs uh, basic stamp one or basic stamp two so for basic stamp one which is this one here this is a basic stamp board small computer board uh, we have those are the pin diagrams uh, the pin functions actually if you go to the data sheet go to parallax uh, you can find this uh, from parallax uh, you can download the sheet actually oops what happened here we go uh, so you can download the sheet actually and uh, you can just just uh, type in basic stamp stamp one basic stamp one and download the uh, user guide or the basic stamp user guide okay you will find everything in there so pin one actually it takes uh, uh, it takes uh, like any any voltage between 5.5 .5 to 15 volts and uh, the second one the pin number two actually is the ground the, this one here, pin number three, as we said, is computer output, the, uh, the co small computer board, which is the basic stamp output. And number four is the basic stamp computer input. Uh, and then uh, VDC, pin number five, VDC, which is five volts. 
please make sure that you don't apply 15 volts at this point 15 you, you can apply 12 volts uh, or 15 volts at pin number one but not uh, pin number five otherwise you will blow up the whole board if you apply if you apply 15 volt at the place where you are supposed to apply five volts this one forget it you have to try throw it in the garbage okay so please don't do that you have to be very careful uh so uh no, pin number five is for five volts uh, supply number six for reset and uh, seven to fourteen those pins are eight pins uh like they are one byte or eight bits uh, a port for dedicated for input output okay and you can find out about those pins in here uh, they are described in here in in the pin function table okay description the pin description basic stamp one pin description okay so so one once you connect once you do the uh, the proper connections it means it means uh here let me show you it means oops here we go it means uh you this is the uart the uart here let me show you the uart actually this is the uart here so this is the pin function of the uart this is the uart board you can use any uart uh, port as long as you are using uh uart for five volts uh 3.3 .3 is five is fine as long as you have this is switchable actually this one here this this position locks for five volts uh, and those two positions lock for 3.3 .3 volts so i set up my ur to five volts so as long as you you connect the most important pin this one goes to the ground this one goes to five volts this goes to uh, this is transmit so it goes to receive on the uh, basic stamp board and receive on the ur goes to transmit on uh, or output transmit means output on the basic stamp okay and and the rest is simple then you just attach uh, leds uh, leds they can be placed on on any of the on any of the gpio pins gpio from p, uh, pin 0 to pin 7 so 0 to 7 means uh, one byte or eight bits any of those can be used as gpio uh, right now i'm using uh, like those two pins here okay select the pins and and they are selectable by software or by firmware i will show you here now how how this is done here uh, if you go to here this is the it's uh, it's called a basic stamp uh, application or software okay so i, I will leave this uh, code it's very simple code i will leave this code for you in the description below so please like and this uh, this uh, subscribe uh, please like and subscribe you can take this code and use it as uh, you you wish as you see here this is uh, the integrated development environment for basic stamp basic stamp by parallax by parallax okay so this is really very very nice and advanced sophisticated interface uh although it's very simple to use but it is really sophisticated i've been using it for for probably two for the last two de decades but i don't use it for for commercial use i use it for testing and and experimentation uh, purpose and uh, proof of concept because we cannot sell the customers uh products final products that have basic stamp basic stamp is only for laboratory for the university testing for the lab experimentation and things like that but it's not they are really not dedicated for mass production okay so this is for for lab testing for lab testing and proof of concept and verification and things like that or if you have scientific project you want to to do some uh, sci science experiment those are perfect okay for uh, doctors for people who are preparing for their thesis or going to university or even like i've used it in 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 in, in many of uh, lab experimentation for for doing uh, the proof of concept for many different products okay but again we cannot use it for mass production just bear this in mind okay so this is the terminal this is the terminal as you see now it's running this is how it's running okay as you see those bits are 
are scrolling they are rolling uh, in and out okay right i'm using port uh, comp uh, 7 which is uh, the virtual port from the usb so this is a uh, port 7 and uh, and uh, like just put the code here just put this code here as i said i will leave it in the in the description below and this here like you have to specify from the drop down menu actually like fr from here you have to to specify which port to use when you select the port automatic selection it tells you oh you are connected to this port uh, pin uh, port uh, com port virtual com port one two three whatever you click on it and this thing here is automatically inserted in the code itself so it becomes part of the code okay so it's really that simple what i'm doing here in this software what i'm doing i'm scrolling those leds just to 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 make sure because i haven't used this for decades you know uh, while i was organizing my lab i found it in in very old box so i thought wow oh my god i haven't used this this for decades so let me try it and i tried it like after a few decades it's still working so i thought you know what i will do video on it and so the uh, the uh, newbies and engineers who didn't experiment with co small computer boards microcontrollers and for hobbyists and for technicians who never used those kind of things before this is guys this, this is really very easy to use even for non-engineers they can easily use it like uh, people who work uh, in science in math in uh, in uh, uh, in in any field uh, they like any 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 person who is even not engineer they can learn how to use the basic stamp this is very easy basic stamps comes in many different uh, for uh, forms and shapes and form as you see and th those are made by parallax this one here basic stamp one actually has a, a, a microcontroller from microchip okay uh, microchip which is my one of my favorites actually this one also uses microchip the the basic stamp too so let me turn it on i'm using this for ex for lab experimentation okay uh, so like if you press this one here as you see this is for calibration for frequency calibration i'm using this circuit to do some calibration okay so like it does many different things uh uh, it it makes like periodic uh, uh, you know like intervals and tones and uh, timing timing signals so i use it for timing and uh, verification okay so so this is basic stamp uh, 2 uh, also it has micro chip microcontroller a small computer board and this basic stamp 1 also it has a microcontroller for microchip this one here okay so uh, if you have never used microcontrollers in your life or even if you have used like advanced microcontrollers and you you like to experiment with the basic stamp then by all means go ahead and this is again very easy to use go to google write in basic stamp one or basic stamp two and download the the user guide in pdf uh, for free and uh, start reading uh, you have to read if you want to learn you have to read you have to give it some time if you don't want to uh, 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 give it time then then go and uh, do something else this job is not for you but uh, if you want to really do something uh, amazing and wonderful then uh, download the uh, pdf file and start playing with them this is very easy to 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 make things uh, amazing things uh, work you know at home and with not this thing here it took it, it took me less than five minutes to assemble okay of course i have done it in in more like around 20 years ago uh but i still remember how to it's, it's really very easy you know for engineers uh like f like myself they will find it very easy to to do the wiring five minutes only okay uh it may take you if you are not engineer it may take you maybe uh an hour maybe i don't know it depends on how how much dedication and and uh, uh love you have like how how interested you are you know how how much of burning desire you have inside you to do amazing things like those kind of things like those kind of toys okay if you don't have that desire then this is not for you but if you have desire then this is really for you one more thing actually uh basic stamp 
it's, it's because it's used in the universities and in research and in scientific experimentation and uh, for complex things it's little expensive okay well i i purchased those things i have much more, more uh, modules or small boards in from parallax basic stamp uh they are expensive i purchased them more than like 15 years ago and uh, amazingly un enough today i opened the box which i had it boxed uh, for more than uh, 10 years ago and still working you know which is amazing that's why it took me about five minutes to do this wiring and the programming okay i really guys want to help you and uh, i want to share this with you so you will find a lot of joy and i'm sure whether you are engineer or not engineer you will have a lot uh, to gain and benefit uh, by using those kind of uh, small computer boards small uh, basic stamp small computer boards one last thing actually like as i said this is not really cheap if you if you want to use if you want to do similar kind of work with with more affordable uh, computer boards then uh, i highly recommend that you should use arduino arduino go to google and uh, search for arduino basic stamp is really sophisticated and advanced and they have a lot of uh, documentation very well documented at Par parallax website uh, also arduino it, it's open source and it's amazingly documented uh, arduino has has amazing uh, uh, documentation and it's public uh, open source so like either uh, a basic stamp will work for your experimentation and research and science experiments uh, or Arduino. I have Arduino boards, but I don't, you know, it's, it's beyond my reach right now. Anyway, like I, I hope you have found this uh, helpful, beneficial. And uh, as you see, the LEDs are, are blinking uh, alternately uh, because that's what the program does. It does alternate the LED. You can have the code do amazing things. It's very simple programming, very simple language. It's called basic stamp, okay? So go to Google, download the PDF file for basic stamp, uh, basic stamp one or basic stamp two, because they are they are almost same, right? So just slightly different capabilities. Okay, this is like I think uh, in the range of twenty dollar. I forgot, like uh, I I I bought this thing maybe more than about twenty years ago. I I still have it. It's amazing, you know. I don't remember. Maybe I bought it for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars, something. I I really forgot, you know. And this one here, basic stamp two, is more expensive. Uh, I bought it like uh, in, like in the neighborhood of thirty dollars, something like that, like about uh, fifteen years ago, even more than fifteen years ago. So go ahead, download your PDF file. Uh, by the way, the Arduino, like you can buy it from, from eBay for five, six, seven, eight dollars. Okay, Arduino Uno. Uh, this is the basic. Uh, if you want to get started as uh, as uh, like if you if you are a, 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 like an engineer or non engineer who never used microcontroller in, in your life before, then uh, you can uh, buy Arduino from Arduino website or from eBay for very affordable price, or you can go to basic stamp. This basic stamp is like, a, I consider it like high class, you know, for for people who want to get serious in, in, in engineering and science. So this is really very good for engineering and science applications. And uh, again, as I said, please guys like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy, you have enjoyed this uh, kind of work and uh, uh, don't forget, uh, please uh, 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 subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more useful information and engineering tips and uh, technological tips so that our community will grow up and everyone will benefit. Th again, thank you so much for uh, for watching this video and you have a wonderful weekend.